YouTube, it's me, it's Mitch Bavit D. This is my mini car boot haul from the weekend. <laughs> YouTube, um, it's pretty late. This is a mini car boot haul that I picked up on Sunday. Um, I did have more, I picked up a couple of ships in a bottle, um, but by the time I've got them home, they're broke. So, <laughs> oh well, they've gone in the bin. Um, yeah, I went to the car boot on Sunday with um, Matt from Retro Wrestling 82. Go and give him a follow. Um, yeah, I apologised to him several times on the day, I'll apologise again on my video. Um, Matt was picking me up, um, I think it was quarter to six he was picking me up. Um, I'd been out on the day, um, slash night with my friends, didn't get in till, you know, I'm not even going to pretend like I know, um, but I was... I mean, yeah, I was hammered. Um, and why I th agreed <laughs> to Matt that for Matt to be more caught to six when I knew I was going to be in Nalfit State to be going. It, not, well, I was definitely going to the car boot, but Nalfit State to um, be getting up at half five. <laughs> I should have just been, I should have just like gone, I don't know. I, I, I don't know what I should have done, but. It's just that drunken mind, ain't it, where your mind thinks, yeah, yeah, I'll be cool. I'll be alright. <laughs> of course. Of course I can live off four hours sleep. With... No, actually, yeah, it was five hours. I think I went to bed about midnight, but then completely forgot that I was losing an hour. So it ended up being four hours sleep. And um, literally, I think Shell come into coming to the bedroom and she was like aren't you going to the car boot and I was like shut up out of bed going shit and then as I'd looked at my phone Matt had actually messaged me and said uh, just outside mate and I think he literally it was within a minute or two I was actually asleep when he arrived outside my house I got in his car I can't imagine what I smelled like um, I didn't have my tooth in um, I also saw Jay Burke um when we were in, when we were at the car boot in Dart Lane, um, Jay just like to say, I don't normally look like I'm about to die, and yeah, smell like I've woke up in a sewer. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, yeah, 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 it was it was rough. But I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven things. Um, well, I actually picked up nine things, but two of them were broke. Um, but yeah, it was all right. I just, you know, when I, I literally we went to a car boot Himley, which I don't normally go to. I only go with Matt because he he drives up there. Um, but for me, it's just completely out of my way to go there. But um, went to this one car boot. I can probably honestly say I wasn't awake until about three aisles into um, that car boot. I was completely gone. Um, but. Yeah, picked up a few bits and bobs. Um, picked up something which I think I can probably get some alright money for. But yeah, we'll see. Anyway, right, go on, we'll start with these two axes because this was the first thing I picked up. Now, I'm not good with this. I don't know whether those symbols on the axes mean anything. Um, I think there's, I think they're dragons actually, so they might have something to do with whales. I think they might have something to do with whales. Um, I might do a little bit more research on it, but at the minute, um, you know, brass battle axes are going for, I think it was 25 I'd seen one sell, um, so I'm going to shoot for 25 each on these. I think they cost me, for this, yeah, this is really bad, I don't know. I think they cost me 25, 25 pound each. I think they cost me, no, it was 8. Or was it 7 each? Shit. Don't boot and dr don't drink and boot, guys. That would definitely be my one tip. Was it eight? Was it seven? I think he wanted seven a piece. So yeah, I think these cost me seven pound each. I'm gonna shoot for twenty five each on them. 
Um, this was a little bit of a wild card, guys. Um, you saw me pick up that clown the other day. I've started to realise that these multicoloured kind of thingy-majigs mean Maruno. The pattern is, I think, or the glasses. I don't know. Um, but this cost me four quid. Um, crap! What did I say? I was going to shoot for now. I think it was either fifteen or twenty. It's 15. Yeah, I'm going to shoot for 15 on that. Um, but yeah, maybe worth picking up. Maybe just a little bit cheap, cheaper money. But yeah, they're very weird. The prices are very all over the place on them. Um, next with these two sets of boots, I'll go with the Black Rock um, tile cap boots. They're actually, I got them from a car boot and they're the same size. So that is a bonus. If anything that's coming from um, me going to the car boot, they are the same size. And I remember actually walking away and saying to Matt, I haven't checked the size of them. I, I, but I only paid pound fifty each for these. It wasn't like I paid 15 quid for those wellies. Um, but yeah, I paid pound fifty each for the pairs. Um, these are black rock steel tail cap boots. Um, again, price range is all over the place, but some have sold for around 20. So I'm going to shoot for 20 on them. And then you've got Profit Wellies. I'm struggling to find these. I found like one pair that um, I've sold for like 14 without postage. It's going to cost me more than a small parcel to send them. So <clears throat> I'm going to aim for a tenner. And it cost me 150. Um, got another one of these Iron Man things. Literally the second day. It's just mad how that works. Um, yeah. This cost me a fiver, I think it was. Again, I'll shoot for 20 quid. Um, I haven't checked. Actually, I haven't changed the batteries on it, but when you do press it, it does work. It's just the batteries running out. Right, and then the last find of the day. Um, I went back and forth with a guy um, about this. Now, it is a bit beat up. Now, I don't know whether that gives it more value. Which that is a hint of anybody who might know what the fuck they're talking about. Does it give it any more value? <laughs> but this is a ram's horn. Again, I'm guessing is a ram's horn um, walking stick. Um, he had two of them. Um, he had two of the ram's horn walking sticks. One of them was a little bit taller than this and it was like kind of... The stick was made of bamboo, so when you kind of leaned on it, it kind of bent one way. I know bamboo is a pretty strong wood and it's not going to break, but I decided to take this one because I was a little bit short on cash. Um, but this one cost me £10. Now, looking at listings and stuff like that, I think it's, it's hard to say on whether, because of how beat up that horn is, um, you know... I don't know whether that takes away value or not, but look, look, if you just look there, look, at that's the better side, but there's a few splits in there. Again, I suppose it shows its age. It's got a bit of age to it. But yeah, I'm going to shoot for 50, go into a lot of detail, the fact that the horn is a bit mash-up. <laughs> But yeah, that cost me a 10, I'm going to shoot for 50 on that. So yeah, only a mini car boot haul. Um, I am going to try that car boot on Thursday. Um, the one I went to actually four weeks ago. Yeah, the one I went to and there was literally three cars there. So I am going to try that on Thursday, weather permitting. And see if it's picked up a bit. Hopefully it has. Um, but for now, I'm going to love you and leave you. I have got, I went to a charity shop today. Yeah, today. Um, and I picked up a few other bits and bobs, um, which I will show you in another video tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to try, I'm going to watch Andy's video again about setting up the laptop so it films you while you're on a screen and see if I can do a sales video this week. I ain't promising jeez because I'm technically an idiot so i don't know how to do anything but we'll see we'll see guys we'll see we'll see what happens but for now
Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you. Yes, you, just you, on my next video. Bye-bye.